Okay? Non-right angle, write it down, non-right angle triangles using the cosine rule. So we have a triangle. What do we know about the triangle? We know two sides. Let's call this side B. This side C. And this is side A. The opposite of A is 50. Or capital A. So this is the cosine rule. So the cosine rule is a side squared. So the side next to the angle squared plus side squared also next to the angle minus two times those sides multiplied times cos the angle in between the two sides or the angle opposite the side that we don't know. Okay, so you substitute everything in. And this is a squared, so how do we need to get rid of that 2? So that's the number inside the square root. Square root, the answer. There you go. Approximately 8.6445 metres. So it says three significant figures. One, two, three. Okay, this is the second type of question you could get. So this is finding the unknown angle. Unknown angle this time. So same rule. Just make sure the angle is opposite the side. So this angle C is opposite this side C. To theta. Okay, so we don't know what theta is, but we'll sub in all the other values. Okay, then we have to rearrange this. So we bring the 4.2, the 5.3 over. So we're subtracting those to bring them across the equal sign. And you divide by that. So these are all being multiplied. So the opposite of multiplied is divide. And that equals cos theta. And how do we get theta by itself, the angle by itself? We've got to do cos negative 1, or the inverse of cos. So cos negative 1, all of that stuff to get rid of the cos. Okay? And then we have to type all of that into our calculator. And I get 112. So the unknown angle is 112. It says correct to the nearest degree, so we just write it as that. 